Howdy, dorks. Hello, hello, hello. It's Unchowder time. It's Dyson Sphere time. It's space time. Uh, hur hooray. Uh, I don't think they know about second planet. They don't know about second planet. What about, what about third planet and fourth planet? <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're, we're, I, I mean, I don't, I, I hate to, to make promises that I may not be able to keep, but I'm dang sure, 90% sure, uh, that we're gonna get to another planet today. 11 Z's an afternoon planet, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we got a morning planet, an afternoon planet, a nighttime planet. This makes sense to me. Um, yeah, I think, I think it's that time. Uh, I think we need to go to our, our ice planet and get uh, get our hands on some some silicon, silicone, one of those two, and titanium, because uh, it's all it's not on our planet. Uh, so we're gonna do that today. I, that's that's my main intention is to go go to another planet, set some stuff up, come back, maybe a couple times, um, and then we can start on some some serious business stuff. Um, you know what? I couldn't tell you if it was silicon or silicone. One of the... They're both things, right? You, you Google it. Um, this, one of them is like the element, and the other is like the rubbery thing that you make out of it, right? I think? I think they're both things, and I don't know which is which. I, f I, I probably knew one day, and I probably forget. Also, Jezebel's here. She's gonna help with everything and make everything better and simpler. Just as always, uh, today's episode is brought to you by an endless expanse of ice and snow. But also you clicking all those buttons down there, hanging out, lurking, chatting or not chatting or hanging out in the discord or not or all the things. Yeah, thanks, Jezebel. Um, yeah, that's what that's what keeps us warm on this ice sheet, this frozen hellscape we call the algorithm. <laughs> Huddling for warmth like little lonely penguins. That's us. Uh, so I appreciate y'all. Um, and let's get into it. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna play Dyson Sphere. And we're gonna remember, yeah, the mouse click for this one, right? Yep. So we just got, uh, a bunch of missiles going. Yeah, look at all this. We have a missile battery. And we have a signal tower. And we have almost enough energy to, to make everything happy. Um, but I think we're gonna be we're gonna be switching out how our energy works in the medium term. So I don't know how much more power I'm gonna really double down on as far as the the coal stuff goes. Um, we're we're researching, right? We're doing these things and thrusters and all this stuff, and then we're we're working our way to the solar sails, which will be the first ingredient to our actual Dyson sphere. Um, so that'll be cool, but I think we're gonna need a bunch of silicon to make all that happen. So that's kind of what the goal is today. Um, we're we're getting to the point in the tech tree where a lot of things are taking, uh, like computer components, uh, right? Like we have this, these processors. And the processors are made from this, uh, the semiconductors, yeah, microcrystalline components, and that's what needs. That's what we're gonna be spending a lot of our silicon on. Um, cause we're gonna be making a bunch of those, um, like all our drones need those, all of the ships that are gonna be our logistics stuff is gonna need those, um, oh, the sail, the solar sails themselves I need those, pretty sure, right? Is that, that's this, here's the solar sail, well, actually no, this does, but the sails themselves, they're gonna take, like, glass and stuff, yeah. Well, we'll get there. We will get there. Um, and then the and then the carbon stuff, the carbon nanotubes. That's right. Um, but before we leave this planet, I want to make sure. I just grabbed a bunch of stuff off the ground, I guess. I want to make sure that this planet is going to be fine for us to leave. Uh, because yeah, just making sure my sound is still working. Because we have some friends on this planet still, right? We haven't been able to evict our our dark fog friends. So I need to make sure that everything is safe while we're away. Um, but now that we have a missile battery, I think all we really need to do... Yeah, we even have two more signal towers. So my understanding, 
My anticipation of how this works is that the missile towers can shoot anything that is in the radius of a signal tower on this planet. So if I make sure that everything on the planet is within that within a radius of a signal tower, do I need any more of those? Of course, the, the silicone, of course. What were we just talking about? I'm just gonna make sure that everything is within some distance of one of these signal towers. And then in theory, it'll be safe, right? Yeah, let's grab a couple of these. That gives me, yeah, let's... Let's make a good handful. Oh, we need more, need more coils. A lot of that stuff we're gonna be uh, bulking out as far as production goes as well. Um, yeah, let's do, <laughs> do that. And that's a bit better. Um, it's only gonna take two minutes instead of like 10. Um, but like these things, we're gonna need these things for the solar sails also. And this is just glass. Maybe we set that up yet? So we have a bit of stone going here, but this is like so not ideal. <laughs> this, maybe we just find a different stone vein. Uh, can do this. What do we got here? We got a bunch of stone over here. Um, along with three more uh, oil wells. There's a three more there, two more there. We got a lot of oil here, apparently. Um, but we're gonna want we're gonna want stone in some kind of a location that we're gonna be making solar sails. which can be anywhere. There's there's one, there's two over by our oil up here. There's one here too. Maybe we'll maybe we'll do a bunch of stone in here so we can like hopefully we can harvest this stone and there's one there too. Okay. Uh, if I go like shift control alt no. I can't I can't move while in that view. Okay. So I think what's gonna happen, uh, there's that research done. We're gonna harvest a bunch of stone over here. We're gonna turn it into glass and junk. Maybe the one down there, I'll just turn into, um, like I'll devote it to the foundation thing, the bricks. And then these will turn into glass and stuff. I think that'll be good. Uh, so just while we're, you know, while we're waiting for these to happen, let's just plop down a couple of these, of course, I would need to build more, but you know, that's how that works. Um, there's awkward little puddle there. I kind of want to harvest all this just to get it out of here. You can't, you can intentionally destroy uh, resource veins, but that's wasteful. So I don't want to as much as possible. Lack of item. Well, I guess that's fair. Yep, gonna be another little bit. Uh, but let's just, we can just get it started. We'll say that our chest goes over here somewhere. And just do, let's do like this. Like that. Of course, I need more, <laughs> more of everything, please. Uh, and then surely we have some sorters. And then, so we're gonna want to make glass. So stone turns into glass at a smelter. And then glass turns into a prism at an assembler. And then prisms turn into plasma exciters along with coils. And then and then the other thing, right? There's there's going to be these this one. 
Photon Combiner. Okay, so it's, it's, it's not going to be the Excited Plasma. It's going to be the Prism plus Circuit Boards, which we are already making. So we want to be cranking out a bunch of Prisms. Uh, and then these are, these are gone. Okay. Uh, so first we need to smelt... We'll say this is gonna happen like up here. I'll give the give all of our refinery stuff some room. So we even have more like we have a bunch of stone up here. We should we should definitely give our give our stuff some room. And this works too because actually we're gonna be launching our solar sails at the pole. And you will see why. So I think being up north is actually gonna be helpful for us. Let's say, like, we'll start here. This will be our, our smelter. And this is is in the way, because of course it is. Put it there. And this is going to come up like this. Like that. There's that, and then we probably have a couple more of these to plop down. I'm gonna have to move that conveyor, because of course... Like that. And then this is just... This is going that way. I'm gonna say... like this. And I can just delete the whole thing, right? Yeah, look at that. And of course, all that hydrogen ends up inside my inventory. <laughs> you see how see how hydrogen packs in 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 boxes? Jeez. And then now I can't I can't just put this in here, can I? Oh, I can. Good. Because that is a space waster for sure. Um, so that's going to still be connected. And then we can squeeze in... Maybe. No. <clears throat> Dang it. Really? I just want to do... We can do like this, right? Yeah, there we go. I have to do that again. That's fine. Like one in the middle there. <laughs> I want to make sure to get. Oh, it's too far from everything, isn't it? Okay, well, we'll have to. Well, we'll get most of it. Well, I, I usually end up with six per. Or vein. That seems like a good, good balance. So then we'll take these three. Blam.
Or did I? I missed. I missed. Oh well. Okay, so there's there's some good stone harvesting, and then this is gonna be glass, right? And clearly we need some more smelters. We're gonna need a whole bunch of smelters for other planet because we're gonna smelt on the other planet and then har transfer the the ingots instead of the ore. That's gonna be the more efficient way to do that. Oh man, we need some chests. And that's that's most of it, right? And probably more of these. Because of course. Can I like there's all of it. There we go. There we go. Okay. And then this will turn into glass, and then I need to make an assembler with one ingredient, right? Uh, we're making prisms, which is just glass and an assembler. So that's gonna happen here. Or we'll even do like, I feel like the other way. Is that smart? I don't know. I'm gonna leave a little corridor in the middle there. I think that'll work though. Just go across. Where's my, where's my stuff? Uh, so then we just want Hi, cat. Uh, let's do like... We want those three to be flat. And then we go up. Then across. We'll even stay up so things can go under. And then we'll go down there. And then this goes out. We just need some power, right? That even next everything. Then these need a recipe for glass. Please, 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 please. There we go. There's more glass. And then I need more power things. These are gonna make prisms. And then uh, the other thing were those photon exciters, right? I don't need them for... We'd have to ra route the electromagnets over. That's gonna take a, oops, a little bit more effort. I think, I think this is good for now. I think that'll give us a little stockpile of, of prisms. And then we'll, we'll we're gonna flesh everything out as we go, of course. Cause our, cause we're gonna need circuit boards over there and then we'll we'll bring over the, yeah, we'll we'll do that later, that's fine. Um, so our signal towers are done. So I wanna make sure that all of our things are protected by the sh they're in the shadow of a signal tower, right? So we have one over there. I have one here, so all this is good. Uh, so maybe like over here. Can I get can I get to all of this? Not not quite. Let's do like. These can all move as well, right? So we'll do like here. Of course, I'm... I need to move as well. Uh, I definitely want all this protected. And do like here. So I don't know, do I need like 100% coverage? Because they're gonna... Because they kind of seek the towers, right? 
my understanding? I guess let's do do it like this and see if anything terrible happens. Um, but I want to protect all of this. Or at least just protect from this direction at the very least. Uh, and then you know, we have one there. And then so I just need like this in the middle here. So like that. And there's good, here's good, here's good, here's good. Probably need over here. This is all power stuff. I definitely want to make sure this is safe. Oh, I got six more. I'm going to want to bring some to, to our other planet as well. We want to protect it with missiles. So we're going to have to, like, we're going to, have to ship missiles over. So we should bring some missiles with us. Um, and then this is all like a science junk. This is important. Science and refinery. Plop one down there. You, you good? You're gonna get placed. Um, and then you get like that half. So let's do like here. And I'm gonna assume that that's fine. That gets that, and then this almost gets that. I'm gonna say that that's fine. I'm, I'm curious, cause that's like that's not 100% coverage, right? That's like like 90% coverage. We have all our directions covered. And now we're <laughs> we're way down on power, but that's fine. Um I think I feel a bit safe leaving our planet in this state. Cuz we're like we're already halfway to another attack. Maybe we should maybe we should let an attack happen and we'll see what happens. Um how's our well, how's our fuel doing? We're still... We're going to be growing out of our, our thermal plants at some point. So I don't know how, how much I care to fix this, but I would rather that this actually <laughs> be working while we're gone. Uh, we could just have... We could just make more, right? Because these are, these are empty. So here's, here's what I do. Uh, I want to copy. I'm going to take... How do I do this? I want to do like... I'm just I'm looking at our power pylons. So I have one, two... I want to do like this. I'm going to use now. I'm just going to plop it right here. Right. And I'll have to connect up these like such. But it even copies the recipe. So it's just that's just that's just more. That's just making more. All I had to do was was that. I have to make more smelters. Of course. Let's make let's make a good handful of smelters. We should make like a shopping list. What do we need to bring? We need to bring smelters, conveyors, chests, power production, so also miners. Oops. We like, yeah, we want to do a whole bunch. So I want to find, you know, a good, a good chunk of titanium and a good chunk of silicon. And we're going to smelt it in a bunch of smelters. So we're going to need, you know, our logistic stuff. We need, yeah, we got a bunch of, of conveyor belts and sorters. We can probably use more conveyor belts, honestly. But we don't have interplanetary logistics yet, so it's just going to be smelting into some chests. So we should get, we should make like some big chests, right? There's these, uh, which we need steel for, holy cow. Like 
do that. Like eight or four per substance. We're gonna need more power too, obviously. For we're burning wood here. Uh, yeah, we got no fuel on us. Uh, but these, I mean, I can just steal some of these. It's fine. Oh, this. Um, and then. So what do we need? We need or need some power pylons. We're going to need more iron. We got iron. Uh, yeah, power pylons. Gatherers. Get, you know, a good handful of those. Let's grab some more. <laughs> Can you take a minute for us to actually fly out there this first time? So I want to make sure we have enough to make our trip worth it. So we have we have power stuff or power towers at least. Um, we could make well, even solar panels. They take silicon, so we're gonna need thermal power plants because there is coal on that planet. We're gonna have to set up some coal and coal mining uh, gears. Really, I'm standing right next to him. Uh, solar sails, hooray! So we're gonna have to set up some mining for some coal, and then burning the coal in the thermal power plants, and then transmitting that power over to our um, our miners. We're gonna have to gather the ore itself. We're gonna smelt the ore. We're gonna store the ore in chests. And it's just going to wait there for us to bring it back. And then while well, we're then we're going to bring it back and we're going to research better logistics. And then eventually that'll happen event happen automatically. How does Dyson brand sphering? How goes? Yes, it goes good. Um, we're 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 preparing to go to our second planet here. Um, we have can I get like better? Better movement before we go. Um, drive engine? Nope. We need yellow cubes for better drive engine. Cool. Should probably do the, this. Um, that uses our our fuel more efficiently. And then this gives us more power capacity, but of course that needs yellow cubes. We should also do this on inventory capacity, of course. Those are all important. Uh, and then that's also going to be important. Oh, and then defense. Cool. Second planet sounds magical. It will be. It is a, a winter wonderland. All takes all takes yellow cubes. Um, and then oh, this is also also takes yellow cubes. Um, we're doing we're going to be focusing on explosive weapons, right? So this is going to be good. We're doing missiles. I'm liking the missiles. And then better, better defense, but our Q is full, so that's fine. Um, but that brings up a, a point. Uh, we need to be able to defend what we build there. So we need to make, we're gonna have, you know, a handful of signal towers. But of course, I need to go grab some more, <laughs> more, more things. Uh, but then I also need to bring the missiles themselves. I'm going the wrong way. This is going to be down here. I, is there anything to grab in here yet? Not yet. Is it all going? Surely our power is better now. Hmm, okay, whatever. That'll all 
Well, it's doing better. It's it's feeding better. Um, I'm gonna grab more glass, I guess. Are you gonna clear the dark fog base on your home world before we go? Nope. Um, I just have I plopped down a bunch of signal towers to cover kind of our whole base here, um, and I'm hoping that that is just going to be enough for our missile battery to defend us while we're gone. And if not, then that will teach us something. Uh, but look, we have a whole bunch of missiles here, so I'm going to bring <laughs> bring a whole bunch of missiles with us so that our, our installation out there can handle itself. We have a couple of missile turrets. Looks like a good volume of missile batteries. I'm happy with it so far. Um, we watched it get... We got attacked at the end of last stream by a by a wave of dark fog and they came in like right here and it was like only these first th two or th four missile turrets even activated um like it we did not use our full capacity here with that last wave so i'm pretty pretty happy about that um but i want i don't know maybe we have five can i do another five i can do another five so we'll just have a 10 missile battery on our other planet i definitely don't want to have to go back to repair stuff there um, especially in the short term, because that's that's a long trip to go tighten some bolts. Oh, we can also do um, there's automatic reconstruction, right? We definitely want to do one of these uh, battlefield analysis. Battlefield analysis. We need semiconductors. Of course we do. Could t totally clear the enemy base on this planet with that better if we wanted to. Yeah, that's fair. I was wondering. I was wondering that. Um, we are... We used all of our silicone here. Um, but that was just... That's just doing our rock stuff, right? Just want... I want some rocks. I'm gonna dump those rocks into here. And then that'll give us some, uh, let's do that. It'll give us some silicone so we can make our, our battlefield analysis base. Needs six, so it just needs 12 silicone. That's not too bad. Just want the one, yeah. Is it, or no, I did it. Did it wrong again. I did it wrong again. It's this that I need. Uh, so now this is gonna be full. I want these. And I'm gonna have to clear this this conveyor belt. Toss that in there. My goodness. like that. I think we we will I do want to clear out the dark fog on this planet pretty soon, but I think we're going to do that when we get back. I want to get stuff mining on our other planet Just like now because it's going to take a minute for all that to accumulate and do stuff for us. And oh, come on. Okay, so then a battlefield analysis base. Can I even make these on my person? I can't. Let's just do that. And one of those. Okay. So what else? What else do I need, right? What else do we need? before we fly off. Um, the, the battlefield analysis base has its own, like it can take combat drones, but it also has construction zones, right? And I didn't have to make these. Like it just, it just has these. You should probably make some drones for it to have as well. And I just make... I can make five. Okay. 
And then where's my where's my drunk drawer? I had a this one. Uh, I don't want these. The rest of this is probably fine. I think this is fine. What am I forgetting? I'm probably forgetting something, right? Let's make sure we have enough fuel. It would suck to get stuck out in empty space. I don't care about you. Okay. I just... Why can't I just... Just ditch the... The logs. There we go. Okay. So. We have power. We have mining. We have logistics. We have defense. We have storage, we have drones, we have missiles. I think, I think that's what we're going to need. And we're, I'm not going to wait for the next attack. We're just going to trust that we're good. Uh, so, and we have a bunch of research to happen while we're away. So we are here. Our fog is here. They are, they're sending stuff to the inner planet, but we're going to the outer planet. And one thing that I like to do for navigation purposes, I can turn on this indicator thing. Now when we come back, I can just see where it is. I know it's up there. So we're gonna fly, and I'm gonna get out of our, our atmosphere here, right? Yeah, and there we go. You can fly the mecha to different planets. And then planet we're going over there. By following the arrows in space. 1.78 AU, and then I'm gonna accelerate as fast as I can go. Slow down. And not get oh <laughs> get captured by our gas giant here. The right mouse button. <laughs> okay. Uh, and you can see how much fuel it takes just to accelerate. That. Are we still? Where are we now? Are we getting away? We're getting away. That uh, the gas giant just took all of our momentum. Mo momentum. Uh, we have to wait for a battery to recharge to accelerate more. Hooray. Um. Right? We have plenty of power, we just have to charge our batteries. Which is what one of our upgrades is for. Uh, so yes, just keep just keep accelerating. This is this is the ex the, welcome to the expanse. Um, we it's gonna take us a minute to get out there, but that's this is why I wanna make sure we had all our junk, because this is the whole thing. You can see down on the bottom on on the right side here. Can I just there's a button for like my mouse is is steering us, but I because that also takes I guess not. Um, there's a way to like get my cursor back. <laughs> uh, but you see on the bottom there. We have our cruise speed, so I'm slowly accelerating 300 meters a second, I guess. And we're 1.3 AU away from our planet. And AU, if you aren't aware, is the average distance between our real life sun and our real life Earth is one AU. So one and a quarter. Um, if I were, if I were smart, I guess we're I guess we're not too far off. Like you can, it would take you a lot more time to go. Like if our if our planet was over here, you'd have to go, you know, that full distance. So we're already. Oh no, we can see. Are we gonna actually see? There's something out here. There's something with us. I wonder if we could even spot it. That'd be really cool. already gone. It's way faster. Look how much faster they are. Like this is granted this is only like half of our max speed because it's our it's our power that's being short right now. There we go. 0.6 AU. So we're getting there. Unfortunately this game is not uh 
This isn't Kerbal Space Program. We don't have to worry about like re-entry and, and burning energy to decelerate to the planet. Uh, we're going to do it in a much, much more direct manner. Uh, here's, here we're coming up on it. We're, we're a third of an AU out. Thousand, 10,000 meters. And we're, we're getting there. Almost there. Three, two, one. Thousand. And blam, we're here. <laughs> Yay, we made it. Look at this. This is even different from ice planets I've seen over like right close to the dark fog. That would suck to just land on top of their their installation and get instantly owned. What is this? So that's stone. Yeah, look at this. It's a completely different looking planet. Uh, we got a bunch of titanium. We got iron, we got copper. Um, let's do let's do like this. So we want titanium and silicon is the main thing we're here for um, and coal. And dark fog is here, so I want to look like on the opposite side. Here's two titanium and a silicon. Where is this? So there's, there is a total of 1.4 million silicon and it's all in this one vein. That's handy to know. We're gonna build here. There's, there's two titaniums and all of the silicon right here. So we're gonna go over there. This ground is interesting. The, I haven't seen an ice planet that looks exactly like this before. Like this, I've seen planets that have like entirely this texture, but like this texture is kind of new to me. It's pretty, I like it. Are we seeing, what are we seeing above us? I'm seeing shadows. Yeah, I'm see, we're seeing dark fog activity on the far side. Oh dear. This is fine. Hello, hello, hello. TF Gandji. Uh, we just we just made landfall on our second planet, and we're gonna harvest a bunch of silicon and stuff. Uh, I'm definitely gonna like silicon for sure. Silicon, silicon, whichever you want. We got them both. Uh, if I can get the whole vein, I want to. I think that looks pretty good. And those just breaking all the shadows. It's fine. See how TFG feels? <laughs> how do you feel? <laughs> uh, how's the build? It's going good. So far, so good. Um, we just left our 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 first planet with a whole bunch of missile with a, a giant missile battery covered by a bunch of signal towers. Uh, so I'm trusting that everything will be fine. Tr trusting it. Um, so we're gonna do a little a little chest here. And then we'll have a bigger chest for our actual ingots. Uh, so we're going to do like this. Something like that. Uh, but this is, I mean, I'm enjoying this. So I've, um, for context, I've played Dyson Sphere before. Um, I have made a Dyson Sphere, but this is my first time playing since the Dark Fog release, obviously. So, so that's all new to me, uh, but the game itself isn't. Uh, so we want to power these. We're going to power our, our sorters over here. So there's a ton you don't know. Yeah. Only all the deadly stuff. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Uh, so these go in. And then we we'll need to get power going, obviously. Um, Because there was... Was there coal nearby? There's coal way over there. Is that, is that our coal? How much? There's 140. This is the only coal. The only silicon and the only coal are not too far from each other. So we're... The RNG gods are smiling upon us at least a little bit. I should ask, how do you feel about some tips? Um, I, you're, you're fine to state your mind. Don't be surprised if I ignore you. <laughs> I'll say that. Um... I basically know what I'm doing. Uh, and the stuff that I don't know, 
is stuff that I'm gonna that I enjoy figuring it out. So if it's like if it's like uh, if it's like I misunderstand a mechanic and I'm just and I'm gonna like everything's gonna be horrible, then maybe say something. But uh, if it's if I'm not doing it to your preference, then that's just how it goes, right? Um, I I'm gonna want to test out all the different. Uh, the different weapon types, so, you know, I'll get a feel for how all that works and make my own conclusions, essentially. Um, we're gonna have to bootstrap this with our own fuel, too. This is so few- such a small amount of coal that I'm not even gonna bother turning it into, uh, energized graphite. We're gonna have to be- we're gonna be importing energy very, very quickly. This is not- this is nothing. Don't want to backseat. There's a ton that the game doesn't explain. Oh, yeah, that's fair. Um, I mean, I understand this game pretty decently. I know I understand this game's logic, I guess. Stuff you won't ever figure out. That's fair. Um, yeah, I mean, if it's something that I just I would never figure out and it's and it's relevant to what we're doing, then yeah, sure. Um, but like in the in the medium term, I kind of know what I'm doing. I'm just going to plop down our Probably way too many uh, 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 power plants here, but that's fine. Be like this, and then like this. You never tell you that you can place a baby storage on top of a splitter. Oh, that's interesting. Faster doesn't use power to insert cargo. Nope, didn't know that. I was recently told that there's different uh, footprints for the splitters too. Didn't know that one. Uh, so I'm just gonna do this. This is this is gonna be way overkill, but I mean this is gonna be all, uh, all. What you call it's all smelters. So this. I guess do I want a splitter? A splitter would help keep us balanced. On our home planet, we have um. Of course, I don't have enough iron. Never mind. We'll fix things later. Um, I have it just coming out of two different things. You can daisy chain those generators. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I know that much. Um, how do I want to do this? Let's do like you're like in just the wrong place. I'm gonna do like that, and then I'll do like uh, that. And, and that will be fine. Not great, but fine. There we go, and we have better logistics going for when we get to our, back to our home planet. Blam. Blam, 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 blam. And then I'm just gonna have to kickstart this with some of my own fuel. And I just. And that should be enough to get it going, right? But yeah, there we go. And then I just need to route that power over to our other stuff, which is way the heck over here. I can see it on my, I can see it down here. Right? Yeah, it's right there, okay. there and then we're gonna want the titanium over here that's on the way go on go on there's so much titanium here this planet has kind of an obscene amount of titanium considering I'm right now I'm mostly here for the silicon I'm not gonna have enough enough 
should have made more. I knew I should have made more. Uh, but we can make more. I can make more. Let's just let's just get those going. I can. I wanna lay down. Um. When we're <laughs> our our home base is, is getting close to a an attack. Make sure you're in the way. But I think our home base is is safe. Again, there's always that one awkward middle one, right? Do this. And there's there's another one in there. Ah. Fine, whatever. One in the middle. Can't build more small chests. Really? I need more I need more iron. I didn't stock up on iron. Whatever. This is this is fine. Overkill, but fine. going. Like that. And then what's that do to our power? I mean, we're okay so far. Okay so far. Uh, okay, so then I'm going to build two lines of smelters. I'm leaving space for that. So I'm going to say... I'm going to say a line here. And then a line here. Slide with other object. Oh, duh. Let's use there. That's fine. It's fine. And then we just need to route raw materials. These even have... Oh, they're gonna... But I don't have the small chests, so I'm gonna have to, like, just replace these with the big ones, aren't I? That's fine. I should have a... I should have a separate blueprint for the big chests. Like that. In, 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 in. Or no, it has to go up higher. Of course it does. But that's also fine. Toot, 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 toot. Then I want to go like here. Yeah. Pretty sure. Once my drones get back, 
Yeah, there we go. That'll be good. Now they will sit here and make me ingots. Make me ingots. This is going to be our high purity silicon. There we go. Oops. And they're, they're off to it. And now we're going to do the same thing over here. Blam, blam. Blam, blam, blam. is just gonna go like that. Oh, I missed. I missed. That's and you're all doing titanium. There. We are now making our ingots that we can't find on our home planet. Do I have... don't have any tier twos? Uh, let's make a handful of tier two sorters. That'll probably help us out a bit. Oh, and we can make batteries. That'll be good. And we're still... we're still 100% sufficient. Um, and our home base is about to get attacked. I do want to get... Uh, defense here going um, I have our eight missile turrets I'm gonna protect I'm gonna protect all of our stuff but um we'll go how do I'll well, mention the signal tower so I want to make sure out of building range I want to make sure that we are protected here so we're gonna put one there I'm gonna put one here. And then the missile bait, the missile turrets themselves will go here. Like that. And then, of course, I would like to have another chest, but that's that's fine. Let's put a giant chest, a way overkill chest here. And then this goes like that, and that, and that, and that. Right. Blam, blam, blam. I'm just gonna dump all these missiles in there. Maybe we'll get back in time for our our siege. Of course, no, I need iron. Uh. Oh no. Well, there's there's iron here. Am I really? I'm just gonna sit here mining iron. <laughs> literally just need a couple of power towers. Hilarious. Okay. Like literally all I need. Uh, so there. Of course, these are awkward. Should have... Oh, here we go. You do that. And now they're getting loaded up. Yeah, perfect. And then I just need to make sure our power source over here. Of ammo. Oh, Most shush! Need ammo to I just started loading it. Open its panel and replenish ammo. Shush your face. Of course, 
it uh, we'll just make sure our, supply ammo with conveyor our power is secure. And then, and then, yeah, we have way more power than we need. We're mining. We're going to go through this very quickly, but this will be sufficient until we can come back with a different power source. I think... Mission accomplished? We're already getting... Like, I'm definitely going to take what we have here back with me. Because that'll... This will get us started. There's already way more silicon than we were going to be able to make by, by smelting rocks. That's a good start. That's a good start. So now... Now we go back home. Now I want to <laughs> want to make sure we're back in time for our siege, um, our goblin siege. Uh, so I'm just going to get my indicator. Of course, we're a little bit further away now. That's why we're going to go now. And here we go. Yeah. Come on. And our, our Jupiter won't steal all my energy this time, so we actually gonna go, we're actually going to fly a bit faster. Yeah, see? I went up to like two-thirds in just one battery charge. But we're also further away. We're two and a half AU away. But we did it! We did the thing! We have silicon and titanium going. And that's just gonna that's just gonna go on its own until until we come back or something blows it up. Which hopefully doesn't happen. That was pretty successful. I didn't, like, I, I had everything that I meant to have. I didn't forget <laughs> a bunch of stuff, which uh, is a thing that normally happens. Three percent. Can we make it there? Are we going to make it there? And this is like, this is the slowest this will be, right? We're, we're going to increase our, our fly speed. We're also going to get the ability to like warp between stars. That'll be its whole other thing. What is the, I swear, there is a button that I can hold. Like I can't get my cursor. How do I, I can do that. There's a way to get your cursor while you're in flight mode. And I can't remember what it is. 98% we're gonna make it back. We're gonna make it back in time Hilarious. I fully intended for there to be a seed while we were gone. But we're just gonna make it back in time That other base is definitely gonna attack while we're while we're here and blip we're here Cool now where the heck are we? over here cool mission accomplished mission a freaking accomplished i would say now here's our here's our missile battery i want to see i want to see what a siege looks like with no input from us i want to see what just happens and we're at 99 percent i timed that perfectly i could not have done that on purpose there was no chance of that happening on purpose uh, but here's our home base it's pretty, I mean, it's well, it's kind of meager at the moment because, you know, we're at that stage still. Um, but I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty organized as far as that goes. Um, we're going to get our, you know, our flying logistics and our drones and stuff going. So a lot of this will get cleaned up. But now we have silicon, so we can actually do, can do a lot of that stuff now. Okay, 100%. 36 units incoming. What do they got? They're going this way. They're going up. Oh, they're going over here. Okay, so this isn't this isn't the spot that they went to before. But there is signal tower coverage over here. They're already gonna They're already attacking. I actually don't think I put 
Yeah, see, here's here's a signal tower, but there, there's just missiles coming in from off the horizon. Fantastic. Perfect. That's, oh, that's cool. Look at that. From all the way the heck over there, we can't even see the missile launchers. And that was it. That was the whole thing. Cool. When we're, we're looting, are we? I don't know if I got much. I have a hard time seeing the loot. Yeah, they blew up this thing, which is like a... We're not even using this really yet. Uh, but that's... So that's, you know, fine. It probably blew up a whole thing of, of oil. Fair. But we that means we do want, like, 100% coverage, right? Um, having stuff that's just kind of just out of range is probably going to be dangerous. Um, but that's good to know. That's information for my head. Um, oh, I didn't put down our... We didn't put our... Um, we didn't put our, our battlefield analyzer base down on the other planet. Oh, well, I think it's fine. It's probably fine. Um, and then a tank. Which takes iron! Because everything takes iron. Bloop, 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 bloop. Do a couple of those. And then we're good. That's a... Uh, that's an attack thwarted with only minor casualties. And this is... Oh, yeah, we're going to have to do something with our, with our refined oil very quickly. As you do. I think we're going to need that for yellow cubes anyway, so that's going to be a thing. So we're using our hydrogen. Yeah, we're out of hydrogen here, but we have way too much refined oil. Same thing over here. We have we have some capacity here. Yeah. And if that stops, then that's gonna stop our red cubes. Uh, so in the short term, let's make just a pair of these. And we can just do that. And that, and that'll just add to our capacity. It's a that's a band-aid, but that'll that'll work for now. Okay. So, we have an inventory with a good stack of titanium and silicon. Which means... The thing I want to be working on right now... Is logistics. We have our planetary logistics system researched. I want to work up to this, but this is going to take a minute. We're going to get yellow cubes for that. So we should work towards yellow cubes. Which are... Uh, where is it? I always, I lose it every time. When these, yeah, so these are going to be important. Um, oh, and that's what our refined oil is for. Okay, we're going to use our, <laughs> we're fine. We're going to use it. Um, this one, this is purple. There's no, there's no control F in here. Not that I know what it's called. There it is. I can't even research it yet. That's right. So it's going to need titanium crystals and diamonds. I believe that what those are. That's these. Yeah. So this is your titanium crystals. We're going to have to research that. Organic crystals. Boy. Oh, yeah, that, I remember this one. I remember this chain. <laughs> that, that's, uh, that's a whole thing. I guess let's go ahead and, and queue these up. I know these are important. Um, that's all fine for now. A 
better assemblers. Oh, our geothermal, maybe that's what we do. Uh, we can go take out the dark fog and put in a geothermal plant. Of course, now that I've queued all the rest of that up. Um, but then we're gonna need, we're gonna need our high strength titanium, which also takes yellow cubes before we can get to there. But we can do this. We can do our, our planet logistics and we can do our drones. Which are both going to take chips, right? Or processors. We need to make processors. Let's make processors. I think that's the immediate thing. Uh, so then we're doing... The the, the 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 this copper and silicon. Okay. And then and then where do I want to do that? Because then this is gonna take those and those. Uh, no, I'm gonna go this way. Hey, look, more inventory. Okay, where do we put our electronics? We have our, our circuit boards are over here, but I think those can move because those are taking iron and copper which are being made over here. Probably want, can we go over here? This is all power stuff for now. We're already 70% of the way. Oh, that's our other base. 70% of the way. Okay, well, cross your fingers. Hope, hopefully your other planet's fine. Um, where do I want to go for this? So, so one thing I haven't played with yet is these actual drone things, right? Like I, I have plenty of experience with the logistics station, and I, I love those. But last time I played, we didn't have these guys, logistics distributors. Top floor of a depot. Of a depot? As, so a chest. So you install them on top of a chest and automatically deliver depot's context to my inventory or other distributors. Greatly helps Icarus to access, access various items in a short distance. So yeah, I think these are going to be more low volume stuff, right? The, the logistics stations are for the high value stuff. But those, those are going to take other things too. We need... The, what's they called? I can't. I can't just click on it. Um, with these, no, no. That one. Oh boy. Which requires all sorts of stuff. That's right. We are, we're in the thick of it now. There's a better shield. Um, okay, so I'm gonna pick a spot for all of our electronics production, keeping in mind that it will eventually get its own logistics station. So it's gonna be kind of awkwardly placed right now, but we'll grow into it. And I want to I want to leave room for this stuff, though this might move somewhere else entirely anyway. It's all coal stuff. Yeah, I think I think I like here. So we're we're making circuit boards. 
but that will probably move over here at some point. And so that's iron and, and copper. And then I want to make the microcrystalline components, which is copper and silicon. And then that is that and that. So we're gonna need three three assembler patches that each take two inputs. That's what we're doing here. It's probably gonna be like this. So like one, two, three, and then we can put a logistic station up here. And these can grow as they need to. I'll even I want to even want to leave them space to like end up with like double rows like they can get longer, but I think I want to have some stuff in parallel as well at some point. Um, so I'm going to leave I'm going to leave plenty of room. Do one night nighty night jam. Have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, and then I want to do and we'll see you see you Monday. We're going to probably finish our mask on Monday. I do that. And then like will something fit in there. That's going to be like very close, isn't it? Nope. There we go. And then just barely not. Oh, come on. Um, let's do, I'll take all these out. I think I can get that better. Two. And click that, and then I can fit one there, and I could fit one there, and then I could fit one here, and then this would all go away. So I think that's that's good. I think that'll give us room to work with. So I need to make bunch of assemblers. And we're good on our logistics. So far, so good. Do like here. Of course, my my silly <laughs> my blueprint. This is the only blueprint that I accidentally have a a recipe inside. Uh, but that's fine. So we're gonna do circuit boards. We're gonna do micro cluster <laughs> micro crystalline components. This is gonna be circuit boards. I probably won't even hook up the circuit boards quite yet, but I want to just want to make sure that it's over here in the long run. And then this is going to be processors. And then I need more of everything. Or energy low. Okay. I'll accept I can charge at these. Very slowly. <laughs> okay. Really? And there's not there's not a big stockpile here waiting for me. Yeah, wow. We're we're using our stuff, that's for sure. And here, yeah, we just need more, just need more nitrogen. Our other planet is about to get attacked any moment now. Uh, yeah, I really want to switch to battery power, <laughs> like soon. There we go.
That'll help. Uh, we need just like the normal power towers. silicon and then you're gonna want these two things so the silicone is just gonna come out of a chest for now all right there's our silicon all right just double <laughs> double checking everything So then, yeah, this just comes down, whatever, like this. And then we need copper over here. Oops. Which is over here. This will definitely get replaced with a logistics station. Uh, but we're already we're already using so much copper. This but we're not even we're not even using a whole thing here. Um, I need a whole bunch tier two. That's a whole bunch of tier two conveyor belt. Can I <laughs> Can I manual make manually make one of these? No, because we can't make those. We need more copper. We need we need we need more of everything. I mean that's that's not even gonna get us close, is it? Our, I'm mining our copper way the fuck over here. Well, this could. I'm not even packing the this. That's okay. First of all, turn those into twos. Turn these into twos. And then this. This should be a tier two. And we could even turn these into a three. That'll help. That'll help a little. But even then, we're using our copper for so many things over on that other side. Might just have to like swap, swap priorities. Do I want to do this? I want to do. I guess let's go like this. That. over there, aren't we? Oh, 
something like that. And then really I should have... We should just move our circuit board production over here, because otherwise I have to make a conveyor belt from the far side over here. So yeah, let's, let's do that. So I'm going to split this copper. Like so. I'll go there. And that'll at least get us started on our semiconductors. And then now this just needs iron, right? Which is also over here, so that's not too bad. <laughs> We're just also using a bunch of iron. Um, of course, I'm, I need... We're using our... Oh boy, we're using our, our circuit boards over here as well. Yeah, we need logistic stations like now. <laughs> um, how about for right now, I'm just gonna steal a bunch of these. Do it the hard way. And then, same kind of deal, I'm just going to put down a chest. And fill that up. I'm going to keep a couple for myself. And then this... goes there. And then this... We'll give ourselves some room. Goes like that. Now, now, we can make processors. Which is, which is one thing, right? Yeah, there we go. We've made a processor. And then if I'm going to make these these logistic stations, the other... No, not not that, not that, that. The other thing we're gonna need are these... are these other things. This one. Which will take copper and turbines, which I'm not making, and... and nanotubes. And we need nanotubes for other things as well, right? Or graphene, sorry. So let's do that. Let's work on graphene. And that's a chemical, happens in a chemical facility. Hooray, our first chemical facility. We have, we have this graphene going. Of course, this needs better. have a factory for for the better logistics yet. We should probably also make that at some point. Um, I mean, yeah, let's say so we're making we're using this for our for our cubes. Or do I want a whole separate one for our I mean, at some point, it's all just going to be logistics, right? Um, so I know I want access to our our chemicals. And then graphene can kind of just come from anywhere. Uh, but for like right now, it's going to come from here. Can I just... Yeah, 
I don't have. No, well, not you. So, a chemical with two things. Here's our refineries. So let's go. Somewhere. I know the chemical stuff turns into spaghetti like really, really fast. Memory serves. This. Yeah, we'll start here. I need to make chemical stations, chemical plants. I need more bricks. This can probably just stop at this point. This is all, this whole thing needs to go away. <laughs> I'm not gonna mess with it. Not gonna mess with it. There's still, it's been hovering at 95% this, like this whole time. Hmm. I wonder if all of our chests are full. Okay, so this is gonna need refined oil, which comes from here, and graphene, which comes from here. So that's not too bad. All right, so no, it's do this every time. It's not refined oil, it's sulfuric acid, which takes oil to make in a chemical facility. Oh man, I forget. I'm forgetting a step, aren't I? Forgetting a step. Uh, so then... So that means I want to make sulfuric acid here. Or even then... Right? So it takes water, stone, and oil to make sulfuric acid. Or we need a sulfuric acid ocean. That's right. You can actually just find oceans of sulfuric acid on some planet. We don't have that here, though. So we need stone, water, and oil. Okay, so then where am I putting this? Most of our stone is... We had a bunch of stone up here, right? We have... We have stone, oil, and water. I'll do sulfuric acid up here. Like, and I, and I'm, I have a... An oil pump that I'm not even refining, so we should, we should do that. We should do that, and then we'll bring that back down here. This is like a silly silly spot for this now. Yeah, let's change your mind about everything. Not too bad though. We get everything back. Didn't don't lose anything. Uh, so we're gonna do stone, water, and oil. Stone, water, and oil. Goodness. Goodness, goodness, goodness. I need to make me a bunch of things, please. Please anticipate what I want and to make it for me ahead of time. 
going to need more conveyors. That. Stone. Right, and I don't need to do anything with the stone. I need just a bunch of stone, right? And then water, which takes these water pumps. Which are in here somewhere. It's like, I don't know, several. And then, and then we're going to make another refinery here. What was my, what was the difference here? I think I just, I'm just doing this. Uh, we'll go like, we'll go like this way. Refineries, of course. I need. Well, I've been I've been making I've been making prisms. We can go grab some prisms. We have a bunch of prisms. Making two, but then I need. Coils. Do I have any in my junk drawer? Nope, that's just a bunch of copper. I'll clean all this up someday, I swear. Oh my god. Several of those by the time we're done. Well, our red cubes seem to still be going at the very least. There's my butts. Drones. Where's my drones? Um, well, okay, so we're gonna do a refinery and then I need to make a water pumps. There they are. And these. 
And then I would like something kind of straight. That's not too bad, right? Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six. And this, they, we're not playing beaver game, so this water is infinite. So then there's our three ing ingredients, right? We're going to have oil, stone, water. That's right. This I didn't have a real I didn't have a good way of powering this this blueprint. That's right. I didn't put blueprints in this or I didn't put power in that blueprint. Are we we're just we're low on power now. Good. Good. So here's a bunch of oil. Oil just gonna go right in and we're gonna have we're gonna have our three things right so now i want to make a chemical plant with three ingredients maybe like here Aside from the fact that we have no power. Yeah, this is just, it's just frozen there. That's really interesting. I wonder why that stopped. My only guess is because our production stopped on that planet. Because we've filled all our chests. But I'd be a bit, a bit surprised. Maybe not too surprised. Okay, so now here's our... Here's our rocks. Yeah, we could just we could replace this whole setup with some pumps if we found some sul sulfuric acid on a planet. It's really cool. Um, I'm gonna guess that our our home system doesn't have any. We definitely don't have any here, right? Um, our inner planet does not. Because like when we say when it has water, it says, right? I thought. 
Yeah, water. Ocean type water. Ocean type none. Ocean type none. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we'll we will find a planet somewhere that has ocean type sulfuric acid. And we can just pump it out of the pools and ship it to wherever we need to make these kinds of things. Uh, but yeah, here. Now we're gonna make sulfuric acid. Now I need more power. Because of course we do. I'm curious. Should probably route our other oil over here. Probably won't matter for a little bit. Well. Yeah, okay. So let's. Because this oil is just going to sit here, and our hydrogen will stop if this fills up all the way. So we're just going to do... Something like this, and it's just going to come right onto... Just going to merge onto the same conveyor. for now, <laughs> but it's fine. We'll make it work. So now that we're making sulfuric acid, I want to make these guys, which take sulfuric acid and graphite. Or grapheme, graphene. Graphene takes graphite. No wonder I'm always confused. Yeah, okay. So that'll, that'll go through our oil. And now we need a whole bunch more power. Oi. Oh, oi. Almost like we need to capture the power of a star or something. We could take out the dark fog and, and use their geothermal plant. Maybe that's what we do now. This, why did this slow down? See, here's here's our problem. Is it because we, we've used all of that backlog of coal? So there, I mean, that's a little bit better. I can't... Things don't mine faster, do they? They just... you just need more of them. But here we're also making... the same things. Same mistakes. Uh, let's upgrade these. And this is full, it's just not outputting fast enough.
a little bit better. Let's see if that let's see if that helps us. Um, we could even see our we can see our power graph over time, right? How do I do? Replicator statistics. Yes, my favorite statistics page in all in all of these kinds of video games. I wish every time that I'm making something in a video game, I'm trying to think of like, how fast is this going compared to this? I wish I had a screen like this. This is the best one. Um, here, we just look at power, power over time. We are demanding 88 megawatts pretty, pretty consistently. And we're producing. Oh, that's like total total joule consumption. Uh, we're producing, you know, 25, and it's fluctuating. But this, you can see, it's kind of been going down a little bit, right? Because of our because of our conveyor belt situation. So now this should slowly go back up. We could even see like what's going on. We could check. We can check what's going over on our other planet with its production. Right? It's not generating any power. Did it already run out of fuel? It's still demanding 12 megawatts. And there's like combat here. Yeah, it's just, it's not producing, producing anything. Yeah, okay. Wow, it, so we just already went through all of that coal. And we could even confirm that by coming out here. I say all that coal. That was a really meager coal thing. And this still says we have 138. Hmm. We're gonna have to go go check. So I can't just like, or can I? Like I can't see the details, right? I can't see. I can't see our junk on this planet. I have to actually go there to actually interact with anything. This says there's still coal. That's most of the coal, right? It was like 140 something. So maybe it just, I don't know. Maybe it just like, it ran out of coal and then didn't have the power to keep mining coal. So now it's just all sitting there doing nothing, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have to go back and fix that. Um, but if we look back at our local planet, our power, <laughs> our power demand is going to skyrocket. Oh, I'm looking at a bigger time scale. I want it to go back up, please. I mean, we got we got this conveyor packed. We could probably make more. We'll watch my who's it. Do the same thing. We'll grab. Like this. Use now. might help a little but I do let's go let's go let's go kill some dark fog right so I want some signal towers let's make let's make our three signal towers and then we're gonna want a bunch of power towers as well right which we need a bunch of iron for okay Hopefully, hopefully that helps. They just need to mine faster.
Could be making like all these things somewhere as well. Okay. So we need to route power and then plop down a signal tower. To our closest. I mean, we're not even that far away from here. And then I also want to be sure that I can actually make our geothermal plant. We have to research geothermal plant, don't we? Geothermal extraction. Um, let's actually pause these. Hello, I can't play these games at all, but watching you play them is so effortless. Uh, thank you, yeah. I mean, to be fair, I've done this one before. Um, but also my my brain kind of works this way sometimes. Not always. I Yeah, no, I, I really enjoy these kinds of games. Yeah, we'll we'll do that. And then and yeah, it's just right over there. Wow. I do want a signal tower over here to protect all this stuff, because this is what got attacked last time. We do like that. I get a, here we got that done. And then we're just doing power. Right? This makes me nervous. This is dangerous, isn't it? Um, I have some missiles. How many missiles do I have? I have 40 missiles. Or 40 missile sets, rather, which is quite a few. I'm still nervous, though. Um, let's do... Like, I'm going to do a couple. I'm going to do one here. And then we're also going to do one closer. Because that'll, you know, cover my butt as I run away. Yeah, and then my drone is gonna go and just do it. Are they gonna come and attack that? They don't seem to care. Oh, they've built so much junk. Look at all these turrets. Those turrets are gonna suck. We need to get rid of them now for sure. Okay, so then, so then signal tower. I'm gonna, oh. It'll get a little closer. But if I could just plop it down, like, right here. Since I don't need to get that close. Okay. Well, let's let's watch the fireworks show. They're just going to blow it up, aren't they? But here come the missiles. Oh, wait. Okay. Oh, here they come. Here they come. Here they come. This will help soften them up. We'll just have to plop down another signal tower. I do have another one on me. Oh, and then here they come. Yeah, that, that pissed them off. Where are you going? If I can get them while they're separated like this. It's definitely better. Okay, well they blew up one signal tower, but that's really not the end of the world. Oh, well, it's just gonna get auto-replaced, right? So if I just do this, yeah, that's just gonna put it back. Hello again. I'm back. Holy cow. Holy cow, that's a lot. I need like a decoy. I need like a bunker decoy. Oh, but it's alive. 
If I can get my drones close enough. Okay. I'm liking the missiles. Yeah, look at that. I can just... I'm just gonna heal it. I'm a, sub, I'm a healer. <laughs> you can sit there and tank. We have our ranged DPS on the other side of the planet, and I'm just gonna sit here and heal. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, I like this. I like this a lot. Okay, we're getting through their junk. I'm seeing some other buildings are being destroyed, or like taking damage at least. I don't know if I have to destroy all of these perimeter things or if I just have to destroy the middle one. But I also can't like actually target things on purpose. Oh yeah, I don't want to get in range of those turrets. Those turrets are what really hurt. They're just continually producing more. This is so many. I'm like, I'm, I'm cranking through these missiles. We've been making missiles all day though, so not too bad. Come on, I'm seeing some, some buildings get destroyed. I, they're attacking the middle thing. That's good. That's the thing I care about the most, I think. I just need to protect the tower. And, and loot. Look at all this loot! Look at all this loot! It's all for me! Okay, it's almost dead. See if the base, if the base is all I have to destroy. Cool. Yeah. Okay, so the, the turrets are still here. But that should help, right? Probably make fewer things now. Hopefully. Holy cow. This is level two. Oh, core destroyed, it even says. This is a level two planetary base. This is ridiculous. Oh, yep. Still still don't want to be targeted by those. Okay. Um, and then there's still, yeah, we still have range on a bunch of these towers, not all of them. Okay, that's better. We are gonna, I don't have another, I'm out of signal towers now. But I can, I can just take this one back. Put it here, and that would that would have power, and that's gonna be close enough. And it's out of it's out of their range of, of the actual turrets. That's what really matters, I think. Nearly there. I'd say this was successful. Yeah. I really like the planetary missile battery. I'm I'm a big fan of this. Okay. And then now we have the normal unable to remove core driller. A drilled well made by a planetary base. Oh, 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 oh. Are they, they're coming back already. Holy cow. Well, we're leaving our signal tower here then. Yeah, just please blow it up. We're, we're researching our geothermal. I didn't think they'd rebuild it that quickly. Holy cow. You're unstoppable no matter what dark fog does. Right. After a long night, here comes the dawn. We've completely destroyed a planetary base. Cool. Dark Fog Core Driller can't stop us from expanding factories on its ruins. You can bury the driller by using foundation, yet a great amount of soil piles will be consumed. Fair. But I don't want to fill it, right? I want to... Soil piles, piles required 100,000? <laughs> Hmm. 
But I mean, I've been I've been told that I can put a geothermal plant on this. It has reached the core of the planet, so you can see boiling lava. Excellent. The well, the well can be buried with enormous quantities of sand piles. Maybe Cosmo wouldn't mind if we use the lava's heat. Yeah, exactly. So I'm not going to waste a bunch of soil filling this in. Oh, that's cool, though. Look at that. You can actually just see down. That's pretty dang cool. Um, so we're, we're two thirds of the way to to researching our our geothermal plant, and that's going to help us a lot with our power issues. And also, we've kicked the dark fog off of our planet. They still remain level two, which is interesting. I wonder if the if the base goes away after I put in a plant. Um, but I'm going to check on so like I have I still have missiles. Not much, though. I'm going to restock. Our power is not doing any better. Oh, and there, <laughs> there they go. <laughs> it's probably, yeah, it's probably already trying to re reestablish itself. But we have plenty of missiles here. We have plenty of missiles here. Oh, and I can only even hold a hundred at a time. Well, that's fine. Let's... I'll just have 200 missiles on me. That's fine. Then, yeah, we it's still still blown up. And there's this thing. Can I blow this up? The central core dispatches relay stations to planets to build planetary bases as needed. After constructing a planetary base, the relay station can use to stay above the planetary base to connect between the planetary base and the hive. It will dispatch vessels to transfer the base's matter production to the hive and ship back energy to the base. Okay. Uh, so they're they're harvesting energy from planets to bring it to their space stations, as opposed to harvesting from stars like we are. Uh, relays are the last insurance of the hive. If a planetary base is destroyed, its relay will try to rebuild it if there is remaining matter and energy. If the central core of a hive is destroyed, uh, which is not a thing we're going to be able to do, uh, relays send heavy will send heavy barge to reconstruct the core. Oh dear. Uh, given the importance of relay stations, attacking them amounts to declaring full-scale war on the Dark Fog. Some hapless engineers have ended up as its casualties, even though they just wanted to test the missile turrets. <laughs> Hilarious. Uh, so is that does that mean if I blow up this relay station, then the hive, like the space hive, is going to come after me? So I, I guess I don't want that. Uh, but we're, I mean, we're working towards our geothermal research. So, so assuming that that helps us with our energy, which, you know, isn't going to solve everything, but that's fine. Um, we'll reevaluate once that's done. And then the other thing is, is these. Feel like I want those first even. And that's gonna take graphing. Which we're making? Is that what I that's what we're making? No, we're making sulfuric acid. We so we still have to actually make the graphene. Okay. That's next. This is this is quite the complex uh, production tree we've gotten ourselves into. So if we have we're making stuff there. 
And we got our stuff here. We got a nice tank of sulfuric acid going. There's not, there's not another handy coal vein, I don't think. There's coal up here, all the way up at the at the pole. I don't want to clog that up with with this stuff though. The pole is going to be important for other things. I mean, this is we're not using all of our all of our graphite production here. So we want we want this stuff and we want this stuff. Maybe it goes, we'll just put it like here. So this is chemical two. We'll give some room to breathe. Let's do that. I need more chemical plants. Gonna whoops. You out. Then down. And then that way. Grab more conveyor belts. Holy cow. Missiles. There. Have a million conveyors. It is kind of cool that if our if our production on another planet stops, then the threat just stops co accumulating completely. Like I would have expected that just your mere presence on a planet would have, you know, there'd be a little bit. You know, just really, really slow, but it is stopped dead. They don't care about our, they don't care about our unpowered stuff at all. Am I out of, no, I have one. There is more over here. Duh. I like that floating like this takes no energy. You know, I'm just a, you know, several hundred ton giant robot floating in the middle of the sky, in the middle of the sky with zero energy consumption. Good stuff.
Oh, of course, I need to actually put sorters here. <laughs> uh. Everything's running at like half speed. to our geothermal station, but now we have graphene going, right? As long as I actually put in a recipe. So with graphene sorted, we're just going to need our particle traps. We're just going to take those turbines. But that's the last thing. Then we can start cranking out these things. And that's going to help much we're gonna be we're gonna be tearing up everything once we have those going not everything everything but like all of the, all of our really long conveyor belts they're gonna go away um okay so then i want to have a little factory that's making electric motors and turbines and then eventually also these uh, but we'll just do these first two for now this is iron and gears and coils and then coils. That's not too bad. That's gone. Fuel stuff. Look at this. This is going as fast as it can. This could go. I mean, it's keeping all these happy. This is, yeah. And it's just, it's just burning it. It's just, it goes through it so fast. Coal is my least favorite way to make power. And not only because it's coal, This is what I did. We have our gears and we have our coils. And a whole bunch of water that I can't build on. Right, because I want to do iron and gears and coils, which are all over here. I'd love to put it like here. 
We can go this way. I mean, this is stuff that I want to, like, take out anyway, right? There we go. Geothermal. Please save me. I need one of these. I need some of those. Okay, that's not too bad. I just need to... <laughs> I just need to find... It's these. One. See, it says, geez, it's level three. Luckily, they can't build actual stuff before I can blow it up. There we go. Uh, so now, geothermal, blam. Okay. <laughs> but it connects right into our, our power grid, right? Cool that these have like power power extenders. Um, obviously, we still need a bunch more. Geothermal three thirty, that's cool. That's more. And, ho and that'll keep them from rebuilding their stuff, right? So I'm not just wasting my missiles blowing it up forever. <coughs> Did you see how much juice it was giving compared to a normal plant? Yeah, I mean, it was... I guess I didn't see the numbers. I know these things are, are good. I mean, it's yielding 330%, which I'm assuming is just because of where it is. But it's given fifth, almost 16 megawatts. That's pretty good. Like, look at that. <laughs> Can you tell when we turned it on? Yeah, didn't didn't single-handedly fix our power issues, but that's a good step in the right direction, I think. And now, or now, there's not even a thing here. There's not even a spot for the dark fog to be. Of course, they're like their relay is still there, right? I assume. Where'd we go? No, it's not. That kicked off their relay. Okay. Well, the planet is ours. So long as the like the the hive can still assault us from space. But the planet is ours. Very very nice. Um I wanted to check on our power with the other stuff. I'm hoping like there's there's extra here. Maybe I'll just kind of bootstrap it a little bit. Because this is still... And it's uneven as well. Maybe what we need are more... We need splitters.
I'm gonna do I'm gonna do like this. Uh, what was it? You said there was a way. Switch style. There we go. That's cool. Oh, one and three. Okay. That's pretty dang cool. Oh, but it just. Oh, I see. Weird. That's pretty cool, though. Pretty, pretty cool. Um, but I do want, I mean, I do want like two of them up here, right? Let's do like that. That goes there. And this bottom one goes there, and then the top one. Do I have to like? How do I? This needs to be faster and faster, and then I'll upgrade this belt. Okay. And then I don't have I don't have belt two. Well, <laughs> we'll work on it. Uh, but that will at least co do both of these rows evenly, right? We were having one that had like way more than enough, and one row that didn't have anything. So this this helps in that regard at least. And I want to do the same thing over here. I have a hunch. No, these are just like out. Why are you so slow? We just need more coal. We just need more coal. Which means we need more logistics. Which we need more everything. And we're back up to 60%, so at least we're going at full speed. But geez. And then like, yeah, we've already gone through everything that was in there. Yeah, we need... <laughs> we need everything. And we're gonna need power to power everything. So we need to be moving towards solar sails, which is what we were working towards. But we... Uh, that needs to happen. Waiting for... waiting for these. Do you? Okay. Do the whole thing. Really? That was not enough? Like one is why are these why why anything why anything so we're gonna get we're gonna get our logistics stations going we just need our the other things I can't actually build them so they don't show up here We're gonna have to make those. We're gonna have to make 
We're gonna have to make these. We're gonna have to make these. And and these. And then where's the actual the solar sails? These. Yeah. So we're making the graphene. We just need to make the we need to make these. Which we're making the ingredients for those. And we can start launching solar sails and collecting their power and charging batteries and using our batteries. But even then, here's... Here's a question. all I guess they're they're kind of getting there do that there we go here's a question that I don't think I can answer yet is this the star that we put our Dyson sphere on We can't reach any of our other stars yet, obviously. We need, we're gonna need a warp. We're gonna need to make warp stuff, which is quite a ways away. But I would love to have, requires universe exploration level three. Ideally, we would have a, a star, a bright star with a tidally locked inner planet. That is our ideal for building our Dyson Sphere, which is not what we have with our, our, our home system here. Um, I want to look over here. I want to look at universe exploration, which requires cubes that we aren't making yet. View or reserves of planetary systems within six light years. And then, and then everything, yeah. And then, and then this is what unlocks warp. We need yellow cubes to warp. So we're going to be we're going to be launching solar sails to to this star to power our planet, but that's not going to be our our permanent Dyson sphere. And that's for a couple reasons. Um, it's it's not ideal to use this star as our Dyson sphere for a couple reasons. And can I do this? Yeah. One is because we're a moon. So us receiving energy from the sun, no matter how we're doing it, either like solar panels or uh, like receiving receiving energy from the things that we launch to the star requires line of sight. So every time the moon, every time our planet moon goes behind our gas giant, the gas giant's gonna block line of sight for some chunk of the year. Or, or month, I guess. Um, every time we go around our planet, and that'll just we just won't receive power uh, from like solar panels or from our our ray collectors. Uh, the the planet will just block our power. So we're gonna have these huge power fluctuations if we if we're if we're depending on harvesting power from the sun to this planet. Um, but even if we, we even if we use like this planet, even if we built, you know, solar panels or ray collectors on this planet to collect power from the sun, the planet's still rotating. So every like whenever a solar panel is at night, it doesn't receive power, right? The ray collectors are the same way. Um, there will be power 
The, the sun will be transmitting its power, but we won't be receiving it because there's a whole planet in the way. So our, our long-term solution here is to find a different star that has a, you know, a brightness that is good enough to make it worth building an entire freaking Dyson Sphere on, but also has a planet where one side of the planet is always facing the sun. Like, you know how, uh, like our moon, our moon is tidally locked to the Earth. And that means we're always looking at one side of the moon. One, there's one side of the moon that's facing the Earth, and there's one side that's facing away, and it's always that way. Planets do the same thing. You have a planet where it's always one side of the planet is always daytime, one side of the planet is always nighttime. So in, if that's the case, then you go to the physical location where it is always noon on that planet, and you build all of your, all of your ray collectors there. All of your power inputs go there because they will always be receiving 100% power. And then you use that power to charge batteries, and then I use our logistics to ship the batteries all over the universe. That's how, that's how I made this work last time. And I really, really liked that. It worked very, very elegantly. Didn't have to deal with coal ever again once it was set up. It's just a matter of increasing the throughput of batteries and stuff. problem is getting there we have to get we have to be able to warp before we can even go and and see what these other systems have um as far as you know what what a good dyson sphere candidate is going to be so in the meantime we are just going to be launching solar sails and oh my gosh that is so terrifying just seeing it up there <laughs> um so yeah, we're going to be making a bunch of solar sails here and a bunch of ray collectors here. Um, and that's going to help us in the short term. That's not going to be our long term solution. Anyway, all that to say is that power is going to continue to be a thing for a little bit. For forever, really, but continuing to be right now. Uh, but I think what's going to happen here... This doesn't break anything? Oh, it does break something. Uh -huh. um, I can grab a bunch of foundations. By a bunch, I mean two stacks. Really, I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of all this, aren't I? Uh, let's do. Oh, I have to actually make. That's right. I'm gonna need steel. You need steel to make ground. You just go away. Just burn the plant matter, please. I'm still clearing around all of this titanium. Let's drop our titanium in here. Uh, and then I'm going to... Up and see that was already <laughs> was already all of it. So these the the circuit boards are gonna move over to the other side, but I think gears and coils can be here. And then we'll do the the other motor stuff here. I think that makes sense. So, I don't know, do I tear this out now? 
I don't know. Um, well, first of all, I'm going to do this, and that requires three things. I want one of these. Leave room there. Something else will probably go there. I'll maybe double up on coils someday. Just leave, leave room for that to happen. And then I want to make these, which is two. And like, that can go. This stuff can go. Right, and then this, I should be making all of this stuff elsewhere. Let's just do this. Then I need a assembler too. It goes right there. I guess I need some more gears. That's even what I want to make. Right. Gears and coils, so those are both here. Oh, hey. Look at my spaghetti! Look at all the spaghetti! This is what we're going to be solving with our logistic stations, though. But in the meantime... Let's do like like this. <laughs> I mean, I could just come straight over. This is an, an irresponsible way of doing this. But this is all going to change. Do like there's one, there's gears, and then magnets. Same, same thing, I guess. Except this is, it's gonna have to go, this needs to go to the middle one. Right. I mean, it can... Fix the spaghetti with more spaghetti. What? Huh? Oh, my cat. What did I screw up here? Oh, it's too high. It's too high! Because of course it is. That will work. There. Mm 
<laughs> the same thing here. So now we just need iron over here as well, which is, you know, here. Just, you know, only a little awkward. This is this is all temporary. This is, it's all temporary. Uh, and then I want to do I want to do this, don't I? Do I? I think I want to do that. And then. This side can go in, and then this side can come out, and then go down, and then this side comes out like this, and, and then goes over. <laughs> down except that that's too steep oh, it's so silly it's so silly oh the tangled skeddies we make but that will work I'll get that going And then this, this is going to make those. Hey, look, it even, it even remembers what's going to be also foils, which, hey, look, they're right here in an awkward way. And let's do, I'm already needing to fix it. That's the, that's the deal you make with spaghetti. Let's see, it's going to, it's going to come to bite you. And it's going to be way faster than you think. Um, but. Oh, I'm, I'm liking those splitters, though, because then I can do. Like if I do this. Right, that's only one tile wide and it starts me off higher on one side I'm go like that. And then I can say I'm out like this and just go straight across. I like that, though. That's legitimately pretty nice. So that's that's the coils, right? Yes, coils. And then now I just need these. Somehow. I'm gonna go like way out here, even. Blam! There. The things are in place, at the very least. This, this is full, it just needs better better sorters. Boop, boop, boop. And this is probably well no, it could probably go faster. Boop, boop, boop. And then now we have these going. What were those for? 
Why am I? Why am I doing this? We're working on. We're working on these. We're working on these, I'm pretty sure. Which I can't actually technically make yet, but we're getting there. Yes, okay. So here's here's what we're doing. We're making these. And I can even make them, I can hand make these. So I can make a good handful of them to start with. And then that will get us going on our, our logistics stations. So in addition to the logistics stations themselves, the big towers, we also need to make the drones. And the drones take thrusters. So that we can do, and that we can do. Is that iron? It is iron. Iron and processor and thruster. So let's make, let's make a drone factory. And that goes <laughs> somewhere. What are we needing? There's gonna be like bigger drones too. So we're gonna need the metals, all of the metals and then processors. So we can go like down here. That's not too bad. Because all this power stuff will go away at some point. Once we're once we're in better shape. Um, so then I need to make thrusters first, which is two things in an assembler. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and then the other thing was three things, right? The actual drone is three things. So you are gonna make thrusters. And you are gonna make drone. That kind of drone, as opposed to the other kind of drone or the other other kind of drone. There we go. Particle traps. There they are. So we have to, so we can't make the graphene on our own, but we are making that. So I'm just gonna go grab, I'll grab some graphene and we can start working on just hand making a bunch of those because then we can start building the towers. We will eventually be making those automatically, but 
the towers would be useful for that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with the towers, or at least a good handful of towers. Oh, let me go grab, let's go grab those. Let's do, let's do that. somewhere. Hopefully there's a bunch of these waiting for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. So now, now I can make a bunch of these. It takes, what's it take? A single tower takes 20. And we're going to make some towers. There, that'll... And then what am I... Copper? I can grab some copper. Let's just do that. I want a bunch. I want a bunch. requiring steel, copper, and iron, which aren't too far, but they're, those are all things that I definitely want on our, on our logistics network, like, very quickly. Um, and these take titanium, that's right, titanium and processors, okay. But this is a good use of our titanium, this is gonna help us quite a bit, holy cow. We've already we've already used all of our silicon too. We have to make another trip. Um, so that was our that was that. And then our titanium is just sitting over here somewhere. Yeah, here's here's that. And then yeah, make me two of these. I already, didn't I tell you to make a bunch? Did those not, did that not happen? Oh, I must have run out of like inventory space or something. They're working on it. It's gonna take a couple minutes. But I can get one, one can cover all of our, our metal junk here, and then I can put another one down here. And that'll get us started. And then the other thing that we need here is, is processors. Which I have now grabbed all of them. But at the very least, this can this can just go over here. Like, like that. Not that we have any more. <laughs> Yeah, we already have to make another trip. Okay, have we made a thing yet? Not quite. Still working on all those. Use all of our silicon. We're yeah, that's all of our processors. 
I'm gonna use all of my, all of the logistics that we can make is gonna be enough to make the drones for the logistics. We're gonna have to go back for more titanium and silicon just to make more logistics, but that's also not surprising. Um, but now that it's all set up out there, we can go there with like an, an, an empty inventory and then just fill our entire inventory with, with titanium and silicon and just bring it back and that'll last a little bit. I just do that now. Just emptying my inventory is going to be its own task. Do I just... Well, let's wait for these to build at least. I guess while that finishes, I'm going to go to the restroom real quick. We won't be going for too much longer today, but uh, I do want to get a couple of towers going so you can at least see what they're all about. It's going to revolutionize all of our logistics. And I'm going to put it like here, of course. Do that. Okay. I'll be right back. Come on. Okay, I'm back. And look, just in time, we're about to get a tower. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So it's, first of all, it's huge. You can see, there we go. Um, oh, and we should get the research continuing. Uh, let's do, oh, we're gonna do solar sails, but that's gonna take yellows, 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 your whatever, whatever this, but whatever. We do more explosives. No, that takes yellows. We're gonna need yellows pretty quickly here. Combat drone damage, combat drone attack speed, combat drone durability. Ground Squadron Expansion, sure. Uh, healthier Structures, Planetary Shield, that'll be cool. Uh, yeah, and then we're, we're needing yellows for all sorts of stuff here. Even that stuff. Um, more drones, more drones. Nope, nope, okay. Uh, we're gonna want that, even though I'm not gonna use it in anytime soon, I don't think. Precision drones are probably cool. Attack drones. Titanium bullets, guess what those take? On proliferators. We're not doing anything with proliferators. 
the way. Yeah, we need to... We're gonna... We'll get there. We'll get there. But we're all... Look, we're already at, like, the extent of everything with the, with the red cubes. It did not take long at all. I thought red cubes were gonna last us a little bit longer. We're already needing to get uh, yellow cubes going. Anyway, uh, here's our foundation stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and plop some down, and that was all of it. Gosh. Um, but I'm gonna do this. Because this is a lot of what we're gonna replace. And what we're gonna do is... All of this is gonna need more room sometime. This is fine for now. I'm trying to remember how many slots one of these things has. But here's our here's our logistics tower. Logistics station. Yes, thank you. You've taken the first step in establishing a planetary logistics network. Set the logistics station at the supplying location. So it can take four things. And the logistics drones will automatically deliver cargo to any other logistics stations in demand on the same planet. Please remember to deploy logistics drones into the logistics station. Either a supply or demand one. So. The logistics drones only work for the logistics station. If we're, if this is just a, a smelting area, right? We're gonna need ore coming in and bars going out. So we have two kinds of ore and then three kinds of or four kinds of things that we're making here. So realistically, even just these four things are going to take two logistic stations. But the Yeah. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to like we're going to bring in the ore, iron and copper ore which will have to have, you know, come from other logistic stations, but that'll, that'll happen. And then iron and copper ingots will be what we ship out of here. And then I'll get, oh, we're going to need more, <laughs> we're going to need more logistic stations pretty quickly, but we know how to make those. Um, so then we're just going to go like this, and then this, and then it goes in. And then the copper ore is going to come out. And then iron ore. Like iron ingots are going to go into the station. Like so. And then iron ore will come out. And then you have to set them up. Well, we want iron, we want copper, we want iron ore, we want copper ore. And then this is going to demand. Obviously we aren't, prov we aren't providing it anywhere. That's fine. And then this itself acts as like a giant chest. Um, you can you can limit how much can go in there. Uh, but we're going to want we're going to want a bunch in there. So I don't make the Trent. That's cool. Um, so there. So now we have the two the two ingots. Um, and I've you know, stopped our copper production by doing so. Really, what I should do... Can I do this? Can I do... I can also have this supply. Like, I can have iron come out like this. So now I've literally changed nothing, right? We're just... We're routing it through our, our intermediary here. And then I can do this. I can say... This is copper ingots. And that goes... Here. Oh, come on. Really? Oh, 
Well, those will go away at some point, but, you know, we're still just starting out our logistics here, so... That's fine. And then the this copper ore needs to come in. How did that... He just automatically bumped over. And when can it do that? Um, but okay, so that that works. And then the iron ore isn't going in, but that's also fine. Oh, and then this, I need to set that uh, this is the ore. Can I... This way, like that. And then this is iron ore. Which there isn't any in there, but that's also fine. Okay. So that's awkward and more spaghetti, but that's fine. So then I'm going to come over here. And plop down the other one. Just, you know, nearby. So like the most awkward way to start a logistic system. So this is going to, right? We're going to demand both the ingots. I want iron and I want copper and I want steel, which hilariously I didn't put in there. Uh, but let's say we want iron that we are demanding. I want copper we are demanding. And I'm gonna I'm gonna crank these down because I don't want a million sitting here. If five hundred. And we also want steel that we are demanding. So then over here I want steel and copper. I'm going to do steel. And then since when can it? That seems new. I feel like I had to do that manually every time before. I'm I'm going to go. I'm going to do that more. Um, and a copper. Just like that. Yeah, geez. Yeah, talk about things that they don't tell you. Oh, did this? Did this actually work? There it goes. So then, so then you need processors, which we're getting, and thrusters, which come from here, and iron. So then, yeah, we'll do iron like this. And then I'll even say... This goes in the middle. And then thrusters just come out like that. Boom. That's how it works. Not that any of it's actually going to work right now, because we don't have any bots made yet. Uh, but I can also just manually put in iron and copper, and steel for that matter. That one not? Okay. Um, so obviously I'm going to manually grab some steel first, and then some copper, which we are uh, we not having a lot of right now. There was some in a chest over here, though. Just grab some iron as well. We have plenty of that. Uh, yeah, I didn't set this to iron. There we go. And then I'll just put in all of the iron I have, all the copper I have, 
all the steel that I have. And now... This will make some thrusters, right? Got the copper, it's getting the steel. And these all have... there's already processors in here. As much as we have. Now we're, we're gonna be... we're screwed on power again already. <laughs> Fine, we're fixing things. We're fixing things. Aside from the fact that we don't have power, but it's fine. They're they're going. Look, we're making drones. So really, I should be making like we need. We're gonna need a bunch more of these towers. We need processors and titanium. Yeah, so we we immediately need to go make another run to our other planet. Because of course we do. And these also take a minute to make, don't they? Jeez. But here come a couple. Maybe? Oh, and they're like outputting onto this silly conveyor belt that doesn't actually need to be here. We should also crank this way the heck down. Maybe even to like one, one stack. Did that, do I have any? I have three. I have three drones. And we're, and that's as many as we can make. How many is it? How many processors does it take to make a drone? Two? So we should be making a couple more. We're, we're waiting on thrusters. But why? You have, you have access to thrusters. Why? Oh, because because I because I had our because I changed my mind on the conveyor belts. You do like that. Probably same thing here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and now I have all of the processors in my. Inventory, right? Yep, of course. Yeah, let's go just... <clears throat> I'll just plop those over here. Uh, these should also crank down quite a bit. I want there to be like a stockpile of things here, but I don't want like an entire chest full of thrusters is a, is a waste. Especially when we're con we're conserving power, right? But there, look at that. Now we are making rounds. I'm going to grab I'm going to grab these drones. And then I have what? I have 20, so I'm going to split them in half. I'm going to put 10 in here. I think is all it can take anyway, right? So we can grab 10. And I'm going to put 10 over here, and you can see they're already flying. They know where they can find their materials. I'm going to put these 10 in here. Now these drones are going to go into the tower, and they're going to grab the ingots, and they're going to fly back over. And they're going to deposit the ingots. Logistics. And they did that without spaghetti. This is the equivalent of four pretty high 
high capacity conveyor belts. But also, this ingot station is going to supply to several, like several stations, not just, you know, this isn't a one way thing. There's going to be several. There's going to be several stations that each station feeds and feeds from. That's the real magic here. Um, and it's already going to immediately stop, but that's fine. They're going to stack up to, I don't know. Each thing stacks different. It doesn't really say, uh, but that's fine. It's fine. And then we're, we're out. We're legit out of processors now. So yeah, now we're going to have to, now we legit have to go over to the other planet again to grab more stuff. But that's fine. We will do so. Let's do that. Um, and then I think that's probably a good stopping point, because now if I do more, we're going to have to go to another planet. <laughs> come back um but now now we have logistics we have logistics stations so now we're gonna now we're gonna change everything right because then we can get these going a bit better if we bring it back a bunch of silicon um we could even have cubes shipped across like have cubes made over there and we'll just put a station in here and it'll it'll you know grab all of the cubes from various places um this is gonna help a lot um like we're we're bringing iron and copper like these poor iron and copper conveyor belts here <laughs> we're are feeding everything uh, being split like six different times so instead of that we're gonna have a we're gonna have a, a tower here and it's gonna feed the iron and copper to all the various things and the magnets. We're going to have to get the magnets in there too uh, for our coils. Um, and then same thing over there. Um, basically anywhere iron and copper shows up, we're going to put a, a separate tower and it's just going to be blown everywhere. Um, and then from there, we just, we go to all of our iron veins. Like we have, we have copper here, we have iron here, iron here put another tower we're gonna to need a lot of towers if you can tell um but we'll just have towers that are near these veins like even the stone uh we're just gonna collect and it's just gonna feed all straight into a tower and then the drones are gonna bring them to the various places that they're needed and then the drones bring the ingots to the places that they're needed and it's all gonna work out beautifully all gonna be beautiful Someday. <laughs> someday when we have power, someday when we're fine on power, everything will be perfect. Oh, but this gets us pretty, this gets us good. We're in good shape here, I think. What is that? Combat mode? Yeah. Game saved. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's that. Uh, we have we have we we visited another planet. We started our logistics systems, um, our planetary flying logistics. Like these, now we can start making like permanent stuff. Now we can start just popping things down. Um, what ends up happening is you end up with you know a big factory that can make stuff, and it just needs the inputs. And yeah, we'll we'll have a we will have towers that can accept the ore coming in, all the raw materials, the coal, the stone, um, sulfuric acid when we find pools of it, uh, all the stuff, all the raw materials that we can find. We'll have logistic stations where they come in and get used, and then and then we just go around the planet and around our system and around all the other star systems and find those materials and plug them into the logistic systems. And they just go where they need to go and everything gets happy and then you just need to power it all which is its own thing but we're we're making really good progress here i'm pretty happy with our progress um this was episode three or four this episode three or four it's one of those 
I think it's three. I think this is just episode three. That's ridiculous. We're already getting to yellow cubes. Ten hours of gameplay and we're getting to yellow cubes. I think that's pretty good. Um, so yeah, come by on next Saturday and we're going to play some more. We're going to go back to our other planet. We're going to grab more titanium and silicon and come back and, and do more. We're going to get all this logistics set up um, and we're going to start making yellow cubes. And we're going to start... We're going to start our, our solar sails as well. Um, we're going to start uh, harvesting energy from our sun instead of from coal. That'll be good. That'll also be good. Come by on Monday, we're going to finish a mask. Come by on Thursday, we're going to play with beavers some more. And come by on Saturday, and we're going to play more Dyson Sphere. All good things, right? All good things. Today's episode was brought to you by an endless expan expanse of ice and snow. You know, like we have on that other planet. Uh, but also by you. Clicking those plant clicking on those planets down there. Um click clicking the buttons. Um, that's all I care about right now. Um just click, just just push my buttons, and then we're good. Um and then yeah, I, I hope to see you around. Thanks for hanging out. And don't forget to stay kind.